Boys and girls, an update on the QRM Illuminator. Uh, I, I've tried uh, for two days uh, to make it work. I was using a dipole on top of my shed, on top of my extension, uh, a mobile antenna as a secondary antenna, but uh, I was uh, picking up uh, nine pounds uh, with a mobile antenna and uh, with the dipole. Maybe it was uh, because it was too close today. <coughs> A friendly station uh, next to me brought me a fishing pole with a two at what is it? T2LT. T2LT. Uh, credits for uh, this video goes to him. Uh, Lee from Ithway, uh, uh, East London station that uh, doesn't uh, mind to help a friend. Uh, I'm not going to show his face. Just say hello. Hello, mate. That's it. Look at people speaking. This station gives me nine plus on the uh, above the nines on the mini antenna. Look at the uh, level of noise that I've got. Look at him, and I'm gonna turn on uh, the QRM illuminator. Seven pounds of noise at the moment, like you can see. I'll wait to, for you to look. S six, seven pounds of noise, and here it goes. It's on. Let's see difference in signals. Right, the station that he was putting me uh, 9 dropped 1S point. Uh, the QRM actually dropped a lot more. So it, it does work. And that was uh, with the uh, homemade antenna only. Uh, best performance is probably get uh, two equivalent antennas with the same guy. Thank you.